This video presentation is brought to you by the Pro Mathematics Academy. Welcome back to another video presentation brought to you by the Pro Mathematics Academy. In this video, we'll be looking at complex numbers, in particular, how to find the sum and difference using our Argon diagram. So here I have two examples for us. Jumping right into the first example, it says find the sum of z1 and z2 where z1 is equal to 2 plus 5i and z2 is equal to minus 4 plus 3i. So in order to find the sum of complex numbers using argon diagrams, of course we need our argon diagram. So let's jump right down on our argon diagram here, right, where we have to put in those two complex numbers and represent each of them on the argon diagram. So here I'm going to represent the complex number z1 right here at this point. And then I have the num the complex number z2, which is minus 4, 3, i, which is right here at that point. And now we need two arrows pointing to those two complex numbers. Here I have my first arrow. I'm going to just copy this arrow over. Okay. So we have our complex numbers in. So this one is Z2. And now in order to find the sum, what we can do is we can copy either Z1 or Z2, right, as a vector, right, and paste it on the other complex number. So let's look at what I mean. So here let's take um, Z1, for example. And if I copy Z1 onto Z2 here, right, we see that we have found the complex number Z1 plus Z2 right here at this point, right? Also, we could have copied Z2, right? If we copied Z2 and pasted it onto Z1, we recognize that we also end up at the same point. So therefore, from this diagram, we can see that Z1 plus Z2 is equal to negative 2 plus 8i. Let's take a look at our second example, right? So let's erase this. And for our second example, we have Z3 being equal to minus 4 minus 2i. So that would be somewhere down here. And we also have Z4 being equal to 3 minus i. So we have that one right here. Okay, so let's put in our arrows. So that's my first one. If I can get this right. I'm going to copy this arrow. Not an exact copy, but something similar. So let's zoom in to fix this one. Because the more accurate we represent our complex numbers, is the more accurate our final result will be. So here we have our two complex numbers, Z3 and Z4 on our argon diagram. In order to see where our sum of these complex numbers will lie, we need to copy either Z3 onto Z4 or Z4 onto Z3, so let's label them. So this one is Z4 and this one is Z3. So let's go. So here I'll copy Z3. And I'm going to paste this one right where we have Z4, Z4's end. 
center this. Okay. So now we have our sum and the sum of these two vectors would be this number, right? And that number seems to be negative one minus three i. Okay. Also, we could have copied z4 onto z3, and we would have ended up with the same answer. So basically, when we are solving these um, complex problems on our argon diagram, all we're doing is we're copying one vector to basically resemble the same complex number, but we're now connecting it from the end point of the other complex number. Okay, so let's jump right into differences. So here, when we talk about the difference between two complex numbers, it is still a sum, but the question is the sum of what? So here, for example, number one, we have find the difference between z1 equals 2 plus 5i and z2 equals minus 4 plus 3i, which, is, which are basically the same complex numbers from our previous example. But now we're finding the difference. Okay. To find the difference, we need a negative z2, okay, which is equal to 4 minus 3i. So the principle here that we're using is that z1 minus z2 is actually equal to z1 plus a negative z2. And that's why we just found negative z2. So therefore, if I go back to my complex plane, which is called my argon diagram here, right, I can enter z1 as previously entered here. Okay. And now I want to put in Okay, now we need to enter our negative z2, which is 4 minus 3i. So here we have 4 and minus 3i right here. Let's put this one in purple. So now I need to draw an arrow to that one. Just gonna copy this arrow, and make a duplicate. Let's zoom in so we can correct this. Okay, so now we have all our conditions that we need. So as we did previously, I'm going to take Z1 and I'm going to copy Z1 onto Z2. Right, and we end up with, here we're not getting the exact answer but we can see that we are corresponding with we can see that we're corresponding with the vector of course here our complex numbers are represented by vectors z1 take z2 is equal to 6 plus 2i Okay, and likewise, we could have copied z2 onto 
z1 okay and it would have given us the same result so there we have it now we're gonna move to our last example which is difference between z3 and z4 so here I'm going to erase our previous um, solution. Okay. And now we want to put in two vectors that represent these complex numbers. So here I'll put in the vector Z3, which is negative 4, 2i. It's represented by that point. Put in our arrow early here. Okay, very good. We also need the complex number negative z4 which is equal to minus 3 plus i so if we should put in negative 3 plus i on our argon diagram we'll end up with okay so now i want to copy this arrow onto this vector And now, in order to find the sum of these two vectors, what we need to do is to copy z3 onto z4. Or, let's label this one z3. And this is negative z4. So if I add z3 to negative z4, it's the same as the difference. So here I'm going to pick up my z4. And I'm going to paste that one onto my Z3. The final result is, and of course, we see that our diagram here is not perfect, but we have to use our intuition, assuming a small margin of error. So this then gives us Z3 minus Z4 equals the complex number negative 7 plus 4i. Okay? So that is it. That is it for this video. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe for future post notification.